It's the Joe Show. It's the Joe Show. It's the Joe Show. It's the Joe Show. On a sick one. 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 And we are back with the On a Sick One podcast, The Joe Show. And this is the show where, like, it's mine. So, right, Jay, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And what I want to do today is I want to, first of all, shout out to Lifestyle Studios. That's where we're at right now. Also, huge shout out to Culture and Cannabis for allowing me to put this thing together. We're 14D, baby, and we ain't going to stop because Joe don't stop. The train keeps trucking on the tracks. So, full-time, never part-time, Tony is full-time doing some other shit. He couldn't be here right now. It's unfortunate, Tony. We miss you. And that is a fucking fact. But that brings me to my next point. I was able to bring in a co-host today. One of my best friends, a lyricist, a rapper out of the No Town 77 Filthy, the 775 Biggest Little City. Please welcome to the Joe Show, my co-host for today, Alex Heem. Alex Heem, how you doing, my boy? I'm good. How you doing? What's good? How you living? Thanks for having me. Fucking A. Thanks for having me, Jerry. Thanks for having me, baby. Alex Heem is always on a sick one. Um, Heem, fucking local rapper, doing your thing constantly, hustler, dad, um, just fucking OG, somebody that I, I look up to, so... Fucking, how you living? How you living? I'm good, man. I'm good. Living the good life. There's been a lot of snow this year. You've been getting some motherfucking shredito days in? Not as many as I like, but definitely out there. I was recently up at Palisades, a.k.a. Squallywood. I don't know why we had to change the name. I thought it was dope. Um, Pretty bummed that we had to change it, but you work at the chamois up there. I was able to slot in there a couple of days when I was up there getting my motherfucking ski on, uh, which was super legendary. Crazy winter this year, but it's super dope working up at that spot. You fucking, you like working up there and shit? Oh, yeah, I love it. Legendary spot, Squall Valley. Squall Valley. Squall (laughs) Valley. See, he can't even change the name in his fucking head, and he works there. Yeah, it's it's a place to be. <laughs> so if they go up to the chamois, where, when they can, when can the fucking people catch you up at the chamois? What days you working up there? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's this season though, so you better catch me this season. Well, it looks like we're gonna have a long haul of a season, yeah. so you still got plenty of time to slide them and see Heem. Also, we got any new fucking I don't know ch- songs coming soon? New breakthroughs? New fucking we're shit working, you're writing? We are working on some things. We're working on some things on the down low, behind the curtains, cooking it up a little bit. Chef and, Wardy. Uh, <laughs> we'll, see what, we'll see what I drop, you know? Okay, dope. Heem and I also have a couple of songs. Um, they can find you on Spotify, correct? Yeah. Uh, a Heem. Yeah. Yep. You can find me on Spotify, Alex Heem. Uh, got a couple songs on there. We're on SoundCloud. I don't know if anybody still has that, but if you do, look it up. Man, we dropped, dropped that some song. some things. That was, I don't know when that last song was. I'm going to fucking share it soon so you can check it out. This is my boy Aheem, my co-host for the motherfucking day. But that leads me to my next point. Um, we have another guest, another local. Um, he grew up in Palmdale. Come back to me. Hey, but we got man. my boy, uh, out of Reno, who I've known since high school, a business owner, an entrepreneur, a role model, a fiance, correct? My yeah. boy, Jared yep. Marlisa, yep. the cr- creator of 25th Hour Clothing and of Global Good Shop. Um, which is extremely dope here in Reno. So everybody, welcome to the motherfucking 14th episode on a Sig One podcast. Jared Marley and this motherfucker. Jared, yeah. how you feeling, my boy? How you feeling? Thanks for having me. You're, You're welcome, bro. Thanks for co hosting It's, it's, it's a blessing, thank bro. I'm stoked to have me. you here. So how you living today? What's good? How are, how the fuck are you, bro? Good. Just another another day at the shop today, you know. Every, every day is a grind there. So it's a blessing, you know, get to wake up and do that. Exhausted, though, every day. <laughs> exhausted doing something you love though correct yes, like exactly. that's something that's like a exactly. passion of yours that's why i'm exhausted when you put your heart and soul into something exactly you're exhausted global good shop like um you've been in business how many years now and has it been at that same location over there opened in 2016 across the street from reed so and then we moved to the keystone location 2017 the Keystone location is, I don't think I made it over to the Reed one, but the Keystone one, I feel like has Not evolved. many people did. It was... And I feel like you've just created a super dope spot there. Um, so tell me a little bit about Global Goods. What the, do you guys do there? If somebody comes into town or they come to your shop, what can they expect to find inside of the shop? So we sell, you know, all those, those hard-to-gets, 
high end sneakers, you know. Um, um yeah, yeah, the the Jordans, the Yeezys, the Travis Scott collabs, the uh, all the dunks, you know, all the good stuff that the kids want these days. Not even kids that everyone wants, you know. No one wants to just get what they have at Foot Locker. They want to get what a sneaker store has. So basically, my boy at Global Good Shop has the premium. Uh, you can go in there, you can get all tops and shit. How how do you start that? Like, obviously, you were like, I want a clothing store, right? Like, that's how it originated. And then how did you get to where you're at it, uh, now? It's, it started as I wanted a store to sell my original brand. Uncle Jared, try not to tap. My boy's over here fucking... So, <laughs> sorry. 25th hour. Yeah. And so... That that was the that was the original, you know, to open a store to sell that brand, you know, and then implement shoes. But shoes soon to, you know, take that over, really. And then you saw that, so that's what we moved it to was to sell shoes and the hype clothing that the people want, the Supreme, the Bape, you know, the, the to match the shoes. Now, is there any competitors you feel like in town? Because I don't feel like there really is when it comes to you guys. There's other the- shops open, but you know we're we're the OGs, and that's just how it always be, which is, which is nice, you know, to be the first. Yeah, it is super dope. I remember one time uh, you hit me up. You were like, "Hey, Joe, I know you got some skills. Can you come up in this motherfucker and hang some chains for me, so I can hang some, yeah, yeah, yeah. some shirts and shit off of it?" And I was like. Yup. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Just Still always, use them today. <laughs> do you really? Always stoked to, to help somebody out, especially a homie that's that's in business and shit. And I, dude, I just, I got a lot of admiration, a lot of respect for that. I know that shit ain't easy. Like you said, you're fucking exhausted from going to work and shit and just putting your, putting your heart and soul into it. And so, um, obviously you've developed, it's big in there. Like you got a, you got a big inventory and shit. Huge. A lot of stuff to manage. Like how many, how many people do you employ right now? Uh, four. Four full timers, one full time, two, two part time, and then one like part plus cover shift. Okay, you dope. Know. So he's that one that slides in when homeboy's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, "I'm still feeling sick today," but yeah, really he just yeah, went yeah. out last night on a sick one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out that team. No, that's dope. Um, do you feel like as a business owner and shit? Because I know one thing that's tough is like when you keep people around and when you keep a fucking Especially when it comes to employing somebody and you keep a team and it's tight knit and shit, it just makes work better. It just makes the flow better. It makes life for you easier. Do you feel like you got that tight knit? Yeah, right now, absolutely. Um, you know, like I said, we've been together since, or not this team, but been doing it since 2016 and haven't had like a very solid team to do anything with yet. And then been this way for, I don't know, about two, two and a half years of just solid team i can i can leave on vacation do my thing not have to worry about a call not have to deal with anything i can and actually enjoy my time just you know being clocked out even though you know you're technically not but yeah no you're always on the clock that's that full-time life type shit Mm -hmm. like exactly being a business owner having your own shit like that especially there too i just feel like that's like you got to keep your eye on everything even yeah, yeah, having yeah. a trust clothing a team like you gotta so who we want to shout out real quick who are these employees give me some names let's yeah, name yeah. drop so shout out shout out hernan that's the, that's the the manager that's the dude right there he's been holding down for the, the longest with us Hearn. and he, he makes it he makes he's the he's the oil to that machine you know it's He's, he's crucial, he's super crucial. And then we have uh, Hobbs and Stunna, which are the two uh, like part-timers. And then Uriel, which is like another crucial dude who slides in and covers the shifts, and he's there to he's like, Yo, pick Uriel, up some slack and shit. I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah. So shout-out to all those guys for sure. Fuck yeah, yeah, no, shout out to your team. That's that's yeah. fucking super dope. Straight up. It's just like playing on the motherfucking basketball court. You feel me? You, yeah. You exactly. got that starting five. You obviously you got the cap and you got the motherfucking would you be point <laughs> guard or you shooting guard where you at? Like Man, I'm I'm just coaching, bro. I'm I'm off the I'm <laughs> like off the that. court. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like I'm just coaching at this point, you know, teaching them how to to run it because really i've been in retail since 2011 this is it's, it's second day i can walk in and do whatever right yeah but uh these like i said these kids can just they, they can do it now man it's it's dope it's one thing Super dope. to just like have 
tight knit employees and him, I'm sure you can elaborate on this, but like being able to teach them some shit and show them some shit mm -hmm. and potentially inspire them to create or do their own shit. Mm -hmm. Like that's dope. My dad once told me you're only as good as your replacement. So if you ain't dropping knowledge, you're not teaching people shit. Yeah, exactly. You're not coaching them up. Mm -hmm. um, then you're not really putting them in a position to better their life. And they're spending how many hours with you? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're spending a great amount of time. So he, what's up? Like, I know you work at the Shams. You work down at, at Axe. You're a phenomenal bartender as well in your endeavors and in your life. So, like, you be I know this motherfucker be coaching some people up. I know. <laughs> I, you know, I think it's you just got to – there's a way to communicate, you know, and if you communicate in the right way and get through to your people, they're going to help you out, you know. They're going to be there for you and trust you. You know, I've, I have uh, good people that I work for, you know, that are the same way, and so I look up to them in that way. You know, and I've always implemented that with the people that I work with as well. You never want to bash anybody, you know, unless unless they're asking for it, I guess. Yeah, no, sometimes we've said it before. You just, whoosh, you know, some, somebody deserves it. I think another thing that's important to mention is that when you work for somebody that you don't like. Yeah. <clears throat> shit's a drag. Just coming yeah. to work every day is a motherfucking drag. Brings That's you it. down. Brings, brings you the fuck you down. down. So, you know, just off top, obviously, if I was in, in there working for you and learning from you, and I just feel like you as a person, like, Man you're respect. relatable. I feel like you know how to separate business from friendship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But also yeah. be able to be the homies, too, right? No, because that, if you that's have it right there, yeah. that family tight-knit shit, that's, that's what makes you, I feel like, more able to leave without tripping on shit. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, you know, like, doing shit with them too don't just like tell them like fucking join them help them do shit and like lead with them not, I always say not it's like lead in front you know you're on a sh it's your ship you know yeah. you have a ship and you're like the captain yeah. of the ship and they want to make sure that ship's floating and getting to its destination yeah exactly you know and so you need your crewmen you know 100% those are your people 100%. that got you this this just reminded me of something I took my kids to the trampoline park I know this is a little off topic but this this is fucking important <laughs> we were at a ship recently i took my kids to the trampoline park we're not going to drop any names it was defy over at the fucking uh, <laughs> over at the outdoor mall and hear me out i walked in there and i realized shortly after we got in there my kids have memberships and shit there so we pay some dough to, to be there damn and it was nasty trash cans over full stuff mm. all over the floors like it was just gritty in there yeah. and i'm looking around and everybody's 14 mm -hmm. all the employees I don't think anybody was like, it was mainly 16, 17 year olds. And so I'm looking for that one person in a different collared shirt or something. Yeah. I'm looking for that dude that just has a fucking different name tag or something, just something. different hat, something to, to say, hey, that's Hemothy. That's the fucking manager he's, guy. Yeah, he's different. Manager. So I look, bro, and this fool's got no facial hair, barely. It's like growing in all fucked up. And, I, <laughs> and he had a different collared shirt on, and I was like, that's him. So I ripped over to him, dude. And on some like, <laughs> Big brother, like, trying to help him out and shit. I was like, are you the manager? He was like, yes. He was all confident, smiling. He's like, yeah, it's going to help you. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you can help me. I was like, yo, um, I got to be honest with you, bro. I was like, how old are you, first of all? He's like, I'm 19. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. So you're pretty young. Me and you were on completely different fucking pages in our lives when I was 19. You're 19, but I get it. We're all different. But I just broke it down to him. I was like, yo. Tried to be like a friend to him almost. I was like, yo, somebody's got, you got to delegate, my boy. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not trying to call you out too bad, but the trash is overflowing shit. The ship you got a man was sinking in that bed. Was yeah. I was like, I'm getting my kids and we're getting the, off the boat. So, I mean, I think that's important to, uh, great fucking point. Like, you're on a ship. Do you feel like the shop is your ship? And this brings me to my next question. Sometimes buccaneers and different motherfuckers out here on, are coming to try to fuck your ship up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So one thing that I know that you've dealt you with, pirates. especially with the type of merch and shit that you sell, is thieves. So oh, I yeah. don't want to get into it. We don't have to talk too much about it, but I know that that's something you've dealt with. So get, mm -hmm. do you have any stories for me, first of all, that you want to share of, of some breaking and enterings? I mean, you know, everyone's... We've, we've seen a lot of, like, thiever, not, like... In the sense of seeing a lot of people steal from us, but like a lot of different ways, you know? Okay. So we've seen homies straight just fold shit like tacos and put in his 5XL sweats. We, <laughs> you know, we, we've seen like the obvious fungy shit. Then we've seen, you know, kind of some sadder shit of like, you know, some fucking parents running out with merchandise like to give their kids like a Christmas present type shit, you oh, know? Man. And, and, and th so there's, there's stuff you're like, 
damn you know what i'm saying my parents have never been there and if they were they wouldn't steal like that yeah but the best one will always be you know getting tunneled in from four stores out of our shop through the drywall tunneled in in the middle of the night <laughs> yeah That's yeah dedication. like break, like fucking He's breaking like, out I'm of prison getting, shit I'm like dude, so they broke tunnels. into the they broke the door into the electric room then they cut holes in the in the fucking drywall oh dude in one store to get into the next store that store to get into our bathroom so it's someone who had some blueprints to the fucking place or something. They said cut right here. They were right there, bro. So I'm like, I don't know. I got some I got some feelings of who it was. That's a lot of fucking but, drywall repairs. Dude, and yeah, and they they got Damn, fucking dude. they got like just like some like Pokemon cards and shit. They didn't even so it was like a tweaker job, but it was impressive. <laughs> it was impressive. And I will give them the pat on the back for the time. They spent to do that shit, and I they didn't even trip the alarm at first. Like I got a call, and I was like, "Hey, like I didn't see anything broken on my shit." So I was like, "Hey, is it a false alarm?" Like, no, it's like so many tunneled in. I was like, "What are you talking about?" Like they tunneled in. They're like, "We need to see your keys so we can go in and clear it first." Just hearing the fucking wow. we tunneled in thing and the they, fact that somebody was in there cutting the drywall, dude. Yes. But was not, it a one-man job? But not even through it one wall. Through literally four fucking... It had to be two on both walls, too. Because be you got to go through one side and yes, then exactly. the other. Exactly. Yeah. So eight. Nine. <laughs> this fool was like squeezing through the drywall holes. Just fucking... He cut, he cut an original one that led to somewhere wrong and then he cut the other <laughs> <laughs> in the electric room. So. Embarrassing. Bro. Tweak City. I, I, Tweak City. He, like you said, <laughs> I think he was just on his Pokemon shit just trying to catch them all. Yeah. But he caught them all. Trying to sell that shit. I see uh, a lot of the videos. The reason, you know, I wanted to bring that up is just because you guys on the social media page follow Global Good Shop uh, on Instagram. Super dope shit. Make sure you slide through there. But you share a lot of those. Like, there's oh, been yeah. videos and shit where I've watched and I'm like literally like checking somebody out. I'm like, when people know that there's cameras blatantly right there, like... You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they it's, they just it's not even deterring it's them. He's like, yeah, that's fake. You can see the wires like not plugged <laughs> in the back. He yeah, just looks no, at they 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 definitely work. And they have, like I said about the the they the kids go to school out here. Their friends see it. They see it on our page, and it's like, are they, are they embarrassed or they think it's cool? Because I don't know what what this world's coming to, but it's it's pretty. It's like, damn. Okay. I, I feel like too, like Jared's just such a wicked chill dude. I feel like he's just like, really, man. Come on, man. Yeah, like, in a sense, that's that not sucks. worth my time to fill out a police report. This is like, bro. All right, well, we're just gonna do some different security. So that's what we've done since, and it's been good. Stop stealing if you can't afford it. Save up some dough. Work a little harder. We all got to do it. I mean, fuck. Heem, have you ever stole some? I mean, off topic, like... Hell yeah. <laughs> he, said, he said, yeah, I used to be the tunneler. <laughs> I don't even got caught, though. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've never, like... I mean, obviously, it's slipped up Joe Sticky Fingers maybe a couple times in my life, but I just feel like if you were to buck a shirt, a hat, or some, some shoes, or even some Pokemon cards, and you're at the convention playing some motherfucker, when you're using some that you didn't earn and that you didn't that you took from somebody else, I don't know. I just got this weird fucking mental block that I can't even keep the dog food on the bottom of the car and go to the self checkout and not even skip yeah, scan yeah, yeah, that yeah, motherfucker because totally. I'm like it's thirty yeah. bones. My dogs are eating stolen food. Now I feel like a dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a karma thing. You feel? I feel something. happy to be able to pay for what I want and need. You know. I'm like, that's tight. I made some accomplishments, you know? Yeah, at this point in our lives, we should be able to. Yeah. If you can't, yeah. make some make some. You gotta change, make some change, moves, make bro. Some moves, baby. <laughs> it's like the game of Monopoly, ways. dude. You're trying to see how many little red houses and little hotels you can get. But imagine those are like ducats, and you're trying to put them in your bucket, and your bucket's your bank, <laughs> before you go try to buy f <laughs> some fresh ass Jordans. Precious. Fuck, dude. Can't believe people are so comfortable stealing and shit. Anyways, that's just something that I guess you got to deal with. Like, yeah, it's part do you ever of the fucking game. catch people trying to steal from the shams, like not pay a bill or something, or at a bar, like trying to dip on a tab? No, not not too often. People people are, we're pretty on top of it, you know. N never had an issue like that. Sometimes people walk out of the tab at at like Axe Bar, but 
What are you gonna do? You know, and it only happens a couple of times. That's my fault for not getting the card at that moment. <laughs> I feel yeah. like Heem's like I trusted that person. Pulls I'm the gonna... axe out of the fucking cut. It's like, hey, you didn't Man. pay for that. I've, I've definitely walked <laughs> out after something like, like yeah, you gonna close your bill? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody's pretty cool, man. Everybody's pretty cool. Luckily, luckily, we've got to worry about that. And if they do, maybe they swoop, swoop a candy bar or something. I don't know. Yeah. Sticky fingers. I feel like some people, it's just Sticky like a, fingers. it's like an adrenaline rush or something. It's like oh, they, dude, they become it. like hooked. I, on I understand. That, I understand some people steal because they need, and then that's you know they need something. They don't have it, you know. But um, some people just steal for fun. I yeah know. yeah for sure. <laughs> like you said, adrenaline rush. Yeah. Yeah, but can't you tell though? And 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 this is one thing. It's like. A lot of the clothing and stuff, like a lot of it's expensive. I'm sure you got stuff that ranges from shoes and shirts and different different merch that like is is some's less, some's more type shit. Mm-hmm. But it's always to me like you can tell when somebody like when you're trying to wear something or have something that you really can't afford. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're I, I like I wear vans. Yeah. I wear vans because I like them, but I also wear vans because I can't really I think I think fashion's the, the easiest thing to fake though. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't fake your house. You can fake a car, but ish, you know, you can be behind. But, like, getting a pair of Jordans and, like, a a Gucci shirt, it's like that makes you look already like you have money because that's just what. Brands. That's just what this image is that we, you know, look at. You know, is brands or money. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. You know what's an idea? You could start your own brand. You can, which yeah, is also very challenging. Are. People, people, people yeah, are. people. Yeah, I feel like everybody's like, yeah, I got a podcast and a clothing band. <laughs> yeah, no <way. laughs> yeah, no, that's that's a very common thing to have for sure. It's it's hard to get like organic followers, you know, besides your family and friends. Factual to broaden and fucking expand yeah. your to some for somebody to your merch across the go jump. on the your website because how else are you gonna be in a shop? You know, it's usually a website. Mm. and type in their credit card information and, and get your stuff like so advertise we'll, it yeah but they'll yeah. do it on you know all internet anything oh. else I'm letting you know right now when you That's fucking known. buy tickets on Eventbrite to one of my shows I need that motherfucking email I need that motherfucking jump you know what I'm saying put your number in there let me send you a text remind you of my show yeah you know what I'm saying yeah no. in the building growing and growing you know what <laughs> I mean it's great it's great <laughs> yeah Sometimes though, I feel like that'll deter a motherfucker. You'll get to that point where it's time to plug your shit in. You're like, eh, I don't want to give him my info. Which brings me to my next question. <laughs> How many fucking emails do you have, Jared? Emails. Emails. You know, our demographic doesn't email. A lot of DMs, you know? Yeah, sliding the DMs. You know, things like that. Very, very stupid ones. <laughs> very mean ones. What? No, <laughs> no, just but but no, not a lot of emails, not a lot of emails. Some motherfuckers be sliding into the DMs, bro. Oh yeah. So you so get like the good, the bad, the ugly in that dude, motherfucker. Uh, there's your prices just, are too high. Oh, no, just you don't even have the right gear. J- like just the, like it's all me. You just like one comment <laughs> will just be like, man, y'all tax like a motherfucker. Blah blah blah. And then two weeks later, hey, bro, how much is this? And it was a story we just posted. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you? Like, are you, like, did you read what you just wrote to me? Like, I'm, con- like, you good up there? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes so, you got to fucking read I, the flyer, read the info, bro, man. I can, I'm, I'm, no, we don't even, we didn't even put the, the, the price or nothing. <laughs> but it's like, how, why do you even want to know? I thought we taxed like a motherfucker, man. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Saying one thing, then coming back like, hey, by, by the way, like... Yeah. How much is that again? How yeah. It's so like, it's $100 extra for you, bro. Yeah. You know? Now, that's definitely the, taxing yeah. that ass. Well, that's the thing, that's the thing that, that these these people don't understand. It's like, I don't... Some things sat, sit, you know, for a while, but but at the end of the day, a lot of that goes up in price and value. So I'm, I don't... I don't just buy a stock to sell the stock the next day, you know? And yeah. shoes are like stocks in the sense of, look at the name StockX, right? It's a big shoe reselling website. Yeah. And it's like, that's it's what it is. And so they're just, hey, bro, g- give me like this, like, hook me up with this. I'm like, bro, I don't I don't need to sell you the shoe, you know? Yeah, we'll hook kids up for sure because we're not a tourist shop. We're, we're a local shop for, for the kids here. But at the end of the day, it's just like, bro, like, you think I'm like, you know, begging you for me to buy it. Yeah. You know, and that's a lot of these kids is 
Get that twisted. It's for sale, not on sale. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like everything applied to the number is rightfully so. Like, whether it's for employees keeping the lights on, like, fucking obviously you got to make a couple ducats in pocket. Also, buy more inventory. Yeah. Keep shit flying under the shelves. Like, can't be hooking mm-hmm. people up because you hook somebody. I'll always, I'll always up. like, I always will hook some homies up, you know, and, and my fan, you know, that, that's what I do this for, you know. Uh, that's up. I don't do it just to expect to drive a Lamborghini fucking selling shoes you know what i'm saying like the people who do they got other inv- like they got other stuff you give the homie some shoes sometimes um, like for a birthday or something like yeah, one of the boys yeah you got a pair of air forces or something. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey i like air forces hey you know it's just like shit it's more right. expensive than vans right no, <laughs> yeah no factual i got a question about the air forces real fast i remember when i was a kid like younger like they were the shoe to have mm-hmm. high tops low tops didn't matter but you wanted to keep them as crispy and white and clean as possible. Yeah, like There's Nelly. like this new thing going on right now where all this like <clears throat> younger generation cats, which is cool, but they're wearing like scrubby air beat Air Force Ones. And it's almost like become it's, it's, a trend. It's like a grunge vibe is yeah. what it is. You know, the ripped up fucking shirts with the like Metallica, right? They, they don't, they don't never listen like to a punky. Metallica shirt or song. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, paint on their car hearts. They've never used a screwdriver, fucking a drill, or or painted. You know, it's 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 just a look, I feel and, it. and I, I I can respect it because it's it's just style. It's style. I used to walk fucked up because I didn't want creases in my toes. Now it's like cool yeah. to have deeper creases. Yeah. yeah. Now the other memes are like, man, these girls bury their fucking air forces for 15 months in their backyard <laughs> before wearing them because oh, they're literally, no like shit. you said, they're literally beat the shit like they've been to 14 Coachellas and Burning Man's it's like in a the row. converse. That's the thing. Like the more miles the shoe have, the dope mm-hmm. of the shoe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which honestly, I guess when Sometimes. I look at it, but like I can that, respect that's it though because I, yeah, I you know vibe. they they wear them to shit and it's like they're they're not wasting materials is what we already are doing with the fucking fast fashion shit yeah you know? factual but it's yeah. funny like i know like, hate to the girls that wear it because my girl does too here and there but yeah you know <laughs> it's not good for the world it's not good for the world yeah no i agree with that like some of the harley homies too like they'll put on a fresh pair of shoes for the weekend and by the end of it foot drags right. fucking sliding their foot and and burners and shit like shoes smoked it's mm-hmm. got a fucking hole in this fucking in the toe. And you know, they yeah. just came out the box on Friday, <laughs> so it's like <laughs> that's where that twenty five dollars went. I'm glad we mentioned the fact that the more miles the shoes got, the more you can see the character on the shoe, the more dope shit the shoe did with you. And I'm stoked on that because these vans that I'm wearing right now, sheesh, they've been fucking some miles on a sicko one, dude, like on a <laughs> sick one, dude. So now, dude, I'm glad we said that. That's fucking dope. Fucking dude, Jared. High school throwback days, real quick. I've known you for quite a long time. Yep. I bring that up because one of the ways that I met you and that I know you and stayed, you know, in contact with you and shit and watched all your endeavors and st- and fucking where you've what you've been doing is Eddie, my brother. Yes, love him. And also J Rod. Shout, so shout out to those. Shout out two fools. Also huge, shout out Keith Long. Huge shout hey, out to those um, guys. Shout out to all those guys. But you went to was in their grade. Yes, you were in the same grade as Eddie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep, 2008. You got fucking, yep. Oh, wait. Fucking. Oh, wait, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's dope. I hit up my brother on the way here, and I was like, nice. I was like, what do you remember about kicking it with Jared the most? And he was like, oh, pickup games. Hell yeah. He's that's like, it. He's like, Jared Marley's AKA Boots. Yep. So, two questions. One, fucking, what's up? You got the Steez with the fucking basketball logs. Oh. Do you think you could be Eddie, AKA Mr. Chainsaw and <laughs> Captain Fouls a lot in one on one? He's got too much energy for me. Bro. So, Defense no. I, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm more of a post up and chill kind of guy, you know? So, he, he'll I'll be threes, like, bro, nah. are we done? <laughs> yeah. It's like, dude, who so, gave no, this I'll give that. Back. I'll give it to him for sure. I'm sure he still has that energy too. He hasn't lost it. Yeah, that's exactly, for sure. exactly. Yeah. That is for fucking sure. Okay, next question. If you were playing the fucking backup, like throwback pickup game with the boys, what shoes you fucking? I was wearing on? ones. Okay. I know it sounds terrible, man. <laughs> so flat. It gave you the confidence. <laughs> there, uh, that was it. That was it for me. It was just the one, man, because that was the Jordan that I liked, and the, honestly, like back then too. I don't even want to say back then, but like two thousand like ten ish, like you know those motherfuckers were going sale, you know. So I'm not trying to, and mind you, we're hooping outside. We're not, 
we're not indoor hoopers. We're fucking on the concrete. Yeah, any 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 middle school or elementary school. We even go to the little hoops and try to just bang on just each other, <laughs> bro. Dunk sessions. Just try to game bang on each other. One hundred percent. hundred percent. Um, but yeah, the good old ones. What about you? If I was gonna play right now. Shit, that's a fucking sol- solid question. <laughs> I don't know what I'd throw on. Probably some elevens. Oh God, beautiful shoe. Yeah, that's a nice shoe to wear. Ear, ear, ear. I'd be fucking squeaking all over the place. Fucking. If it was now, if it was now though, honestly, Kobe's. Okay, for the newer newer era shoe, they wear the Kobe's. So comfortable, and they just. They're, you know that that's today's technology. Like ones, it's nineteen eighties technology. Let's think about it, right? It's not, you know, shit's throwback. It's it's throwback, man. So yeah, I'd I'd be on the Kobe way for sure. You guys selling a lot of Kobe's out of there? Like, what do you see in as Kobe's far as shoes only go? Like, started what's fucking Jordans all day. Jordans all day and Dunks now. Um, Makes sense. It's cool though, cause every year we see different shoes do better. And worse, obviously. Mm-hmm. So it, it's kind of it's kind of fun to just see the new sh- wave. That like like yeah, I'm 33. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty up to trend what these 13 to 18 year, old, year olds are wearing. So it's kind of like it's kind of funny and it's kind of cool. Like the fours are in right now, uh, <clears throat> dunks. But last year was all about the Air Forces and. Um, Jordan ones the year before, you know, so everything's that kind of just rotates. So, so you could get a, a shipment in, or you could stock up on a shoe, and that motherfucker's like the dollar. It'd just be going up in value. Sometimes it'd be dropping and shit. Like Thousand going percent. Up and drop. Will stock. you hold? Will you hold one if it does really well, and then you got a stockpile? Will you be like, all right, let's just hold these for a few years and? That's what we do. Watch these motherfuckers pop back off again. It's it's you know playing the market, playing the market was just. That's why you airtight Every, them, everything. Huh? You got the airtight wrap. Well, no, I won't even ha- like have it in the shop. Like that's like in the shop when it's wrapped up. Like he's saying, like just put it stock, like put it away. That's yeah, man, I would do that. <laughs> he's got sure. some put it away shoes. I have a lot put away. <laughs> you know, so it's it's fun, man. It's fun. It's cool to just be a, a poor man stock market you yeah. know what i'm yeah, saying I like i'm not running around i'm not fucking around with hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars a couple thousands of dollars you know yeah which is way more stress-free for me i'd be way too stressed out thinking i just lost 100k in a day oof you know yeah that's <laughs> how do you feel about the shoe conventions do you feel like that's good for the game? And do you ever attend? Oh, it's those? amazing! It's amazing. It brings everyone under. And any convention's always good. Yeah, agreed. you know. Um, but as far as like what you're doing, what you're doing there, mm-hmm. that always depends. Okay, I feel you. Whether you're there to buy, whether yes. you're there to sell. If you're there to buy, I think it's a, a great opportunity to get some great steals. You know. You see the videos where they're fucking. The mystery box. I wanted uh, to bring this up. The motherfucking mystery box at the shoe conventions. You know, you pay like three bills for a box. You don't know what's in it. You could get a shoe that's worth more. You could get a shoe that's like. It's like. It's like fucking gambling, right? Does okay. everyone come out a fucking winner? You know? No. And so, so many people just get sour. Like, I get it. Like, there's a quote unquote selling them bricks, right? But they didn't tell you you're going to make money from this. They didn't, you know, they just said, bro, you got a mystery win. And that was, that, you fucking paid for it. You should be mad at your luck, not at the person selling you a mystery box because you wanted it, you know. Seems like they just hype up those fucking. They just lose. And they, they hype up the videos where kids so, are taking a little but, bit but, more L's that, than they do dubs. But, though, but that's the like. thing for sure, too. They're trying to like show people like they're really misleading kids cuz they're saying there's going to be certain amount that are winners but like one out of 300 will be like a good so that's that's shady as fuck and i get that but as far as like you know not becoming a winner it's like yo i didn't punch my craps lady in her right. face after you might have felt like fuck dude uh, yeah no i got ripped off this weekend though what oh yeah blackjack uh, <laughs> I was like, I thought you were talking about the shoe. I was like, so no I way. fucking uh, have you guys ever been to an Indian casino and played blackjack? Yes. 
How did they do it? I don't remember anything that day. Uh, for, I was on a sick one. Or but. not blackjack. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, roulette. A roulette. No, I don't even play roulette. I don't know. I feel like I... <sighs> I don't think I, because I don't gamble a lot. So if I do, I'm usually gambling like another homie's twenty dollar chip because I'm not just trying to like throw my own fun, yeah. yeah. But just... no, I I don't know what what's different about the roulette. That shit's different. You spin the fucking ball, and then it lands on a color, and then from that color they flip open they flip open a a card with a different color. So you basically got to like win twice in a sense. You got to match match? In a sense, dude. And I was like, so I, I bet on black and it hit black on the circle and, and on like the ball. And I was like, hey, let's go. And she's like, no, you have to wait for the card. And so she flipped the card on the black and it was red. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? So I was like, hold friends, on. I don't what? know what the fuck that so, is. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> shit. bro so it's I'm got magnets you, in you. Uh, I'm telling you, I just, I had to let that off my chest. Cause that one, that one. Where, got which me. Uh, which night casino was you at? Where were you at? Cash River, oh, Cash yeah, Creek yeah. in Sacramento. Golfing. Okay, yeah, beautiful course. Did you were golfing out there? Yeah. No way, you get your golf on too. Oh man, you Abs- do that quite a bit. Went, we went, we played about forty five holes in two days. Okay, sick. Yeah, it was fun. Golf yeah, golf. I, I, yeah, we golf. I mean, not shooting like scratch or anything, but I golf, golf my ass off. So we'll go this summer. Dope's one of the, uh, golf one of them dope fucking wealthy guy hobbies. No. <laughs> sure, so we played 45 holes, two days. Be yeah. good. No, <laughs> no yeah. golf's definitely, yeah. golf's get very difficult game. Like, every time I go, I'm like, can we play basketball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like in, we got courts here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 100%. yeah. No, that's sick though. Fucking golfing it up. Yeah, golf. You've been golfing. Since, you've been golfing how long? How long have you been fucking golfing? Uh, my buddy Joe Wilds was on the golf team in high school. He got me like he he took me on the course when I was like you know sixteen, seventeen. <clears throat> Didn't really take it serious. I don't think anyone really does, you know. But I still had hell of fun because I grew up a hockey player, so it's just kind of a natural swing. And then five years ago, four years ago. 2018 ish really just took it serious got a set and like buckled down yeah it's it's awesome i played golf not too long ago and (laughs) i was like yo i got the strategy today i'm gonna drive i was like i'm gonna drive as far as i can i'm gonna hit a nice chip and i'm gonna put it in my buddy looked at me he's like hey dumbass that's what we're all trying to fucking do (laughs) And I was like, yeah, man, I know, but fucking, all right. I thought it was a great plan going into (laughs) it. And you kind of just, my day up right there, but I ended up fucking. Do you play play hockey still? No, man. I kind of want to start playing again at the the new ice They got the new ice I know, I know. The adult league and shit I hear. It's, I don't know. You gotta add time. Ah, bro, honestly, I gotta tight, fucking dude. work out first before I, I'm gonna get hurt out there, bro. <laughs> and I'm gonna Start miss a couple some weeks of fucking work because I try to keep up with these damn. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like yeah, I feel like you could be getting checked in the boards on. I some think bro, you people get taking it there, seriously, get and getting drafted still, and shit. You know. Yeah. You, yeah, I play softball. Like I feel like you gotta you gotta have like a fucking that's extra cur- curricular activity yeah, yeah. 100%. as an adult. Oh, you, if not, it's it fucks with your head, bro. Whether it be golf. We all grew fucking, up playing sports. And I'm not talking know, about, I, I don't want to say this, like not just going to the gym, like playing a game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like something competitive. Football, fucking, something competitive. I feel Some like frisbee that golf. in your life is fucking, Ooh, is good to go. Golf. Like, yeah, you have yeah, to. Yeah, frisbee golf. Some of those motherfuckers. <laughs> Dude, that is just crazy. Through a tree and fucking. 400 yard hole. Skips the water and shit, goes right into the fucking chain. He's like, yeah, I meant to do that. I'm like, what the fuck? People have like <laughs> the little kids doing it now too. If you don't have a hobby, pick up a hobby, whether it's fucking 45 holes of golf in two days or you're just out playing softball with your friends. Uh, they call me Joe Hum. Runs a lot. Um, fucking what about you, Heem? I know that. Um, do you have an cr- extracurricular? I, I hop around. I dibble and dabble here and there. I feel like his shit is like, hiking. My, oh, yeah. I guess that would be I guess it. that would. I, that yeah, counts. I, like I feel like that counts. That's the thing. That's a good thing. Get out there. Mushrooms and hiking, man. That mixes some... pretty well. Yeah. And sunsets. <laughs> and sunrises. <laughs> I went hiking one time with Heem. At night, we had these little night light fucking headlamps on. Mine was all falling down, getting fucked up. I was like, <laughs> falling in the bushes. Yeah, he's like, like carrying a Hello! Lamp. Like fucking yelling for me and shit. I'm like thinking I hear like a fucking barracuda in the cuts or something. Like, <laughs> I'm, I, I don't know, dude. I, That's I, so funny. That was like the gnarliest high trip of my life. And then we got there and I was just like, this is where we're chilling. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but I think no it's mushrooms. good. Picking up a fucking extracurricular activity. Um being a businessman, like, do you encourage others to get into business? 
<clears throat> Honestly, like not too much, man. Like seriously, it's it's like I like try it, do it for sure, and if it succeeds, hell yeah. But like, you know, a lot of fucking businesses don't, and it builds you down, and like, you know, it hurts people. And like, once you do, it's just stressful, you know. But it's like not stressful. It's just how you maintain it. If you can like maintain, if you are a good like time manager and you can motivate yourself to get up and do some do it but i honestly think like not a lot of people can be their own bosses i think that's really what i'm saying like for sure try to like do a business but you know sometimes people sell their business and they're not the boss anymore because it's hard to like do that just want to get the fuck out (laughs) they want to be a part of it they just like it's it's hard to like they think it's gonna be instant money and like, yeah, yeah, for sure. No, that that's for sure. That's yeah. for like, hundred percent. Depending on the Everyone person too that's running it, money. draws in that help that those people that are working for yeah. you too, and, which and, can make your life. And partners can suck though too. You know, partners Fact. can fuck you over. You know, I, I mean, it, it's it's. If if it was easy, everyone would do it. The old saying. Yeah, you know? but up. I definitely encourage people to try to do something. But just know, like, there's definitely a lot of hardships. So just roll with it, though. Like, roll with it. I feel like I love sleep a lot. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. I'm highly motivated, like, organizing shows, doing different things, like, just staying, just fucking committed, going for it, going for it, going for it, mm-hmm. and just having that fucking don't stop attitude. But as far as, like, I'm going to wake up at 5 a.m. every day Dude. and fucking have this crazy plan and only get six hours of sleep every day. Like, I. I don't know, especially like if life's not going very well either. If I feel like I'm going through some shit, or the, you know, up, down, mm-hmm. and side to side, life type shit, I feel like when I'm down too, I enjoy that sleep a little bit more, mm-hmm. which is probably yeah, one of my downfalls. Sleep. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's a bad thing to catch up on your Z's, but I also think it can be a bad thing if you sleep too much. Oh, yeah. yes, 100%. So I, I don't know. It's just like, what do you, what's that driving force, like that business mentality, I suppose, that just keeps you fucking jumping up in the morning and fucking staying committito? That's a new word. <laughs> the, the, the drive, yeah, man. The driving force is just proving others wrong, you know, big time, and and proving who your loved ones right. Like, like just just keep, because you know they're super proud of you, and, mm-hmm. and so just keeping keeping them smiling. Keeping, I'm proud. And just like don't, because you know some, sometimes you're like, fuck, what am I doing this for? What the fuck am I doing every day? But I think everyone gets that, whether you're working mm-hmm. for yourself or not. Yeah. You know? I feel like the negativity sweeps in a lot harder than the compliments as oh, well. That, that, that's it. That shit will dust you off your feet. And 100%. You have to have a backbone for it. Jim Carrey said, when you stop caring what other people think about you, you reach a dangerous level of freedom. And I think that I've been trying to fucking keep doing that. But I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I've had close people in my life. I've had the most upful and helpful support and push and get me to a point. And then I've had those same people sometimes in my life that I actually genuinely care about what they think or how they feel about it. Fucking go away and make me just fucking just eat me alive. Mm -hmm. So I think that outsiders too, like you were saying earlier with the DM, sometimes they just be coming in all sideways and shit for no reason. Fucking all, (laughs) you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, why? Like, I don't understand that. I feel like the internet and elaborate, and fucking give me a little take on this. I feel like people are 10 times more likely to drop a negative comment or say some hateful ass shit than to say some fucking uplifting kind shit. Like yeah. kindness is gone. Like fucking. Yeah. And nine times out of 10, it's not a, their profile pic. They're fucking, they're private, whatever, because they, they can, because no one knows, you know what I'm saying? And that's the, that's also the fucking problem. Is hiding behind yeah, the yeah, bro. You gotta watch. It's you like follow. you guys know exactly who you you're DMing. You, it's it's us. It's the, the squad, you know. And you have a black profile pic with zero. Like like you're a fucking troll, bro. Like go get a job, get a hobby. Like you say, you know. Fucking like spend your no time money for doing that. something positive. They don't get no money bro. for that. You Find know? your motherfucking niche. There's so many, so niche. much negativity. It's so weird. Could you imagine if it was flip flop? How it, how much doper things would be, and how much it more would, I feel like it people would, be would win f- and f- pass on wins and help others win if the negative comments is is 
statistically drastic as they are, yeah. were fucking kind comments and nice comments. Could you fucking fathom that for a second? Yeah, it'd, it'd be a scary world. I feel like one of the greatest people in my life that's able to not give a shit truly about others' comments, negative shit, whatever, is this fool. And do you think that that's something that you developed, like, younger and shit? Or fucking, how the fuck did you get such thick skin, my boy? This was like a fucking, <laughs> like Godzilla. Fucking. No, it definitely took some going into, you know, and, and just uh, realizing that y- you have yourself, you know, and me against the world, Tupac. Uh, that, that shit, you know, that shit, songs, music, you know, once I stopped following people around and started doing my own thing, that's when I started taking off a little bit, you know? And so that's after that, I was like, I'm, I'm a, it's me against the world, baby. You yeah, know? facts. And so keep, keep it rolling. It's like, you I'm can't stop anything. You can't home now. bump that song. Yeah, absolutely. You can't change anything, same, you know? Same, same. I think that's what has allowed you, though, to be just a consistently more happy dude. Yeah. In your day-to-day life. You got hobbies, wintertime, summertime shit. Fucking, you're a lyricist, rapper, always freestyle and shit. By the way, that freestyle we did the other day was sick. Sick. Um, but yeah, dude, I think that not not really letting what the outside fucking noise is saying to you is is what helped you out a lot. Yeah, everybody's growing. Everybody's going through things. Everybody, a lot of people that criticize in a harsh way, they uh, they don't they don't know where they're at. You know, a lot of people talk. You know what I told you? It's like, uh, well, you never would follow somebody that you don't want to be like. You know, don't don't take heavy criticism for somebody you don't look up to. You know, it's like, yeah. Like, some people don't know what they're talking about, but they don't know themselves as well, you know? How do you feel like, Jared, in business, and when you do receive those, like, dealing with that adversity and shit as a business owner, like, just keep it pushing? Or, like, what, what's your what's your thought process on that and fucking? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You got to keep it pushing, but, I mean. Do you respond to those motherfuckers? Some some of them like they'll piss, you like, piss say me off enough quick. to like do some yeah be like, like yeah. just be like bro why are you even why are you even commenting or what you know <clears throat> for the most part just keep them on red and 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 keep it going you know like you know I have a, there's like a troll I have a troll page you know like damn literally like a page made to troll me what that's, that's like, how shop. you know you're doing something right yeah. though damn. Like, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you got haters. <laughs> he ain't doing shit. Yeah, no, I was. Just, You're doing it wrong. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to pull the page out. I don't want to call some of them out. That is crazy. Yeah, J Lifestyle bro. Studios, get ready. It's about to get heavy. Uh, you're gonna have another page fucking trying to copy you and be J Lifestyle Studios in this bitch. Straight up. I think what's dope right. though is those positive comments definitely do like hype me the fuck back up, and I get those a lot more than I get the negative ones. But them fucking negative people be negative negatives. You gotta weed the circle out, you know. Yeah, no, it's no, it's it's real. It's Yo, real. they do have a troll page. They yeah. got a picture of my boy in this bitch too. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna just say it. This, this, global Haters. goods be taxing. <laughs> Little price googer, G- gugger, G- gouger, gouger. Pff. I don't even think that's spelled right. If it is, I don't know. I don't fucking deal with words <laughs> like that. He really do be taxing, though. That's the motherfucking... <laughs> that's the dude. The, the dude day that they have written in here. Um, 50 followers, 176 posts. I feel like all 50 of those followers are just some crybaby, uh, being sad, I ain't got so, enough Honestly, money some are, are people that think it's like me. People are like kind of like... Some people just add people. Like look, like this one, like we got broken. In, <laughs> yeah. We got it's broken like, oh, into be that. And it says like smells <laughs> like insurance fraud, you know? Like what kind of sick people do you think I am, you know? Dude. <laughs> it's crazy, right? When you start- so that's what I mean. That's what I mean. If you're going to start a fucking business, be ready for to deal with shit like that. That's yeah. exactly what I mean. You're, you, you, that's not why you start a business. That's why no one does, you know? Yeah. But you, everyone gets it. A successful one. You could name, I feel like we could all name our favorite spots in town to go drink at or something. You could go in those motherfucking Yelp reviews or anything, and you're going to have people speak super like highly Alex of it, team. and you're going to have some people yeah. just in that motherfucker. Worst service ever. Worst service ever. Worst just being a hater. Downtown. Yep. Yep. Crazy, right? Just, I don't know. Can just, you imagine that being your life? Could you yeah. imagine actually being no able time. to change your mentality to flip? Flop it and be be better than that and be different than that. That's what I try to inspire people to be. Yeah. Fucking be kind, dude. You got to yeah. call them out. You got to call them out. Be kind. Listen to more reggae. 
Listen to reggae. Appreciate sunsets. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy too is you could be talking about somebody on the motherfucking internet or be saying something about their business or t- saying this or that, and you don't even know that person. <laughs> yeah. You've never sat down to dinner and chopped it up with me that's or had it. drinks at a bar. No, that's it. Or fuck, you, you don't know me. Yeah. But they get at you. But they get at you. <laughs> they get at Sometimes you. Sometimes they get under our fingernails, but we clip them. Sometimes they want to post your nudes and on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Hey, co-host Heem today, fucking tell that story real fast. Uh, uh, do you want the story? I guess I can put yeah, this out Yeah, 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 yeah. Check this out. People. Jared, this is fucked up. <laughs> so check this out. This girl was like, or this girl or they, or it could have been a he or an it. Oh, but uh, you never know. <laughs> But anyways, this person, you know, has been trying to hit me up and uh, talking real nice and started sending me pictures and videos, doing some crazy shit. Hey, yo. Oh, always asking, always like asking what? for some shit. And then, <laughs> like what? I'll show you. I'm just joking. <laughs> nah. But anyways, I ended up folding one day. You know, actually, you know, I haven't been fucking around. I've been celibate for a little bit and, and a very short time. Very short time. Good very short time, but it's good for me. And so anyway... Uh, I folded. I was like, all right, baby, I'll send you a little song song. Hey, yeah. So I sent that out, and then she was like, I got you. And I was like, you ain't, you ain't got me, because I am not. I don't care. Like I'm, I'm shameless. You know? Yeah, I saw the story. It was like, hey, uh, if you see some shit of me, some dick photos or whatever the fuck, like, I am I am me. <laughs> I am and, me. Uh, somebody thought they serious? got my ass, but let it ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Enjoy, you know. Damn. You know, it was, water coming on. Water, water, water show. Side. Pass it. We got Cottonmouth. Joe Indico was in here earlier. I'm sorry. Dude, I was so stoned at the beginning. I was just like, I'm like stuck mode. I was like, what's... I don't think I've ever done a podcast I, that where... That hit me. I haven't been like, hey, you're too far from the mic. And then next thing you know, I feel like it's like touching my face. And, I, <laughs> <laughs> and Joe, I think Joey's just fucking with me. Lifestyle <laughs> Studios. We're in the motherfucking building. Speaking of having people in your building... Um, global <clears throat> goods shop in Reno, Nevada, biggest little city, seven, seven filthy, uh, just had a special guest with a special guest, mm-hmm. um, yep. at the shop. Who were those guests and how did that come about? Cause that shit is dope. Uh, complex sneaker shopping is that what you're talking about. Yes. Yep. So JLP, the host shout out JLP, shout um, out. came through and all the whole complex team did, and they did a, a sneaker shopping episode with Stone Cold Steve Austin. <clears throat> Got to interact with him, one of my idols growing up who didn't love wrestling, right? And um, he bought some shoes from my shop, man, and it was fucking pretty amazing. That's tight. <laughs> it was pretty. What did he buy? <laughs> what kind of shoe so, did he buy? Uh, all right, so it's, it was the uh, Fire Red 3, and then he went to the Racer Blue 5. And then a Dell Soul 13, so like a white white and yellow 13, black and blue 5, and then like a white and red 3. And then <clears throat> I was like, hey, he said something about I said something about Kobe. And I was like, oh, yeah, I have a pair of Kobe's in your size up, up, up at the counter. I'll, I'll have my, my employee bring them out. This is all scripted, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Don't know if I should say that, but no, yeah. And so yeah, it's gotta be coached up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And so we'll that's when up. um Hernan took over and showed him the Kobe's, he bought those and spent like two bands at the shop, man. No shit. Do they do the thing where they go beep, 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 and then fucking share his total at the end? Yes, yes, exactly. Same. Yep, I did that. He's it's pretty cool. Take my card. Yeah, Stone and it was Cold a cool Steve Austin too, voice, yeah. dude. Can you do a Stone Cold Steve Austin voice for us real fast? <laughs> He's like, just run the fucking car, pussies. Yeah, no. That was good. Was, Not bad, right? I think my dad sounds like that. I've been getting yelled at my whole bad. life like that. <laughs> sounds like he's dead. <laughs> Dude, remember Stone Cold Steve Austin just smashing the Dude, beers through so 16, cool. bro? I wanted so to cool. drink a beer with him so He bad. fucking, he was my boy was laced up. He had he the fucking the he used to leather vest on just coming out yep. fucking. Yep. Yeah, mean motherfucker. <clears throat> sick fuck. That's dope. So sick that he was in the city. I have, uh, I get a kick out of bringing guests in from different parts of the country. And this podcast, like, one thing that I wanted to be known is like, obviously, the bike life is a major part of my life, but I'm just trying to highlight people that I believe are on a sick one and, yeah, and yeah. doing well in their lives and just trying to inspire other people to be great. So if you listen to this show, you're going to have a lot of adversity here, baby. Mm-hmm. Yep. Joe Adversity, baby. Um, also, let's elaborate on the name real quick on a sick one. I feel like that can be. A very good thing, or you could be on a sick one in a bad way. Um, do you agree with that? 
I try I to use it in a I think the younger light. crowd definitely is like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what he's saying, <laughs> you know? But, like, yeah. some people are like, oh, sick. Like, what do you mean? You're sick, you know? <laughs> so, but, but I think I think the people listening, they know exactly. We're, you're going fucking hard, you know? <sighs> right? Because sick, yeah, sick no, to us is always, always good. Like, yeah. oh, that's sick. That's yeah. sick. <laughs> it's always a good thing. Yeah. The way I use it, at least. Right, right. I don't know. So like, I've I've used it both ways as well. Like you know, sometimes you're 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 uh, going through the mud rather than walking around it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, damn, dude, Ralph's on a sick one. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Like, yeah, <laughs> just, you know okay. just a cinder, you know. Yeah, see, that's what I say. I'm, like, yeah, I'm a fucking I'm a bender right <laughs> now. Yeah. I feel like I've you know tried to do both or have done both, whether or not I wanted to or intended yeah. to or not. I feel like that's just how life is. You sent know, you got to you got to catch you yourself. Have to keep yeah, sending. I guess you're right. Yeah, I sent it last night. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I sent it. I, I, I see what you're saying. And you have like, to keep sending to get it through. You, you got to be like, man, you've been way. on a sick one with yeah. all these things I've been doing and crushing it and like <clears> and it's like, damn, dude. The last three days, I was on a sick one. Dude. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel like it can it can be either or, but I definitely am trying to bring it in that light. So, dude, you've been on a sick one. Fucking Thank you. Goods. Appreciate that. Fucking just absolutely slaying. Do you have more complex episodes potentially coming up in Reno? Um, fingers crossed. You know, trying because you know there are a couple big names out here now. So, trying to do something with that. You know, dude, Reno's a sleeper town. What do you mean by that? There's like there's just a lot of people in this big, town that yeah. you wouldn't even know and shit. Yeah. Like just. Whether oh, yeah. it's wealthy people, people or fucking a lot of money out here that There's, you don't understand. That's all. I feel like a lot money. of wealthy people have been coming out here, like celebrities and stuff, for a very long time. You know, they used to have the Mapes Hotel down there downtown off of Virginia Street, and that I heard that spot was super popular, and a lot of uh, famous faces would show up to that spot. So, yeah, they know Reno's dope. It's Reno's retirement. got some sick ass history. Mac Dre, R.I.P. Mac hey. Dre. Mac Dre used to love Reno. What's yep. sick about Reno is it's always been a party spot. People from the past, like they, they would come out here to uh, divorce, to get a divorce, and stay here for like two weeks at Rancho San Rafael. It was like a farm, and throw the rings off the bridge over at Virginia Street. Fucking so you got the history. Man, you got the history. <laughs> yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, that fucking Joe and Nika hit me. Yeah, no, it's fucking. <laughs> yeah. I love fun facts. Just a fun fact. Fun factor from the Honest Signal podcast. I was. Uh, Dude, I had somebody telling me some some info about like Midtown area and like where the town originally like started up in Reno and shit. And like, dude, there actually is a lot of history here. What do you mean? Um, fucking so Shay's Tavern, like how long that's been there and how old that building is and like that grouping of buildings has been there for a long ass motherfucking time. Really? That's sick. And I just didn't know. I didn't know that it was that old. And don't quote me on it, but fuck, I don't even want to be off that much. But I think it was like twenties. Those buildings were built. Um, okay. So, like, that's pretty fucking old, bro. That's a yeah. hundred years right there. Yeah. You feel me? That's it's, crazy. It's 2023. <laughs> so yeah. We're in the future. We're in the future, man. No flying cars yet that we know of. The car went flying on the freeway the other day after I hit a tire. You saw that? Oh, your your car. <laughs> no, that one so, fucking. Oh, that video? The fucking <laughs> dude, the chick brothing it in the Kia Soul or whatever that thing was? Legit. Kia Soul. Flying. I did not see Truck's driving video. down the road, boom, front driver tire comes off. Remember to tighten your spacers, kids, and your lug nuts. Fucking <laughs> wheel comes off, explodes off, goes right underneath <laughs> the Kia Soul, and the Kia Soul goes, bro, and just fucking onto its end. <laughs> bro, was, Hopefully they are Kia okay. Soul. bro. Yeah, seriously, though. Get get together with us if you see this video. Uh, Jared and I will get together and we'll send you a pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah. From Global Hell yeah. I know I just volunteered that. I'll pay for half. Yeah, and yeah. Then the other half. All the new dad, subscribers to the channel. We'll do some. No, that's dope as fuck. Right, I, dude. Where do you see the shop going in five years? I know that you're <clears throat> definitely wanting to keep it local, but yeah, it's it's so it's so hard to say. We just did we just opened our website and that's been going like we just sent out a package to Arkansas to fucking I forget where in Cali but somewhere in Cali. You know, like it's it's gaining traction, so who knows, man? We may have to do, you know, a nice little Twitch channel, YouTube channel, um open another store in another state. Really just don't have any idea right now just kind of 
Just saying, rolling with consistent. it right now. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Flowing like water. Yeah, Flowing like water. But 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 there's some plans. Dope. Some plans. No, that's heavy, dude. Um, getting the word out. That's one of the reasons I wanted to highlight my boy Jeremiah Lisa and Global Good Shops on here. Um, the website you can go on there. Yes. Cop some sneakers. My yep. boy's gonna send them out. Freshies. Yep. Fucking yep. some Store freshies. merch, all that stuff. Dope. <clears throat> Got all kinds of. Dude, we can use a discount code. Joe Comedy. Get. 20% off or so. Sheesh. 20% is a lot. Maybe we'll drop that 10%. And then you get the 10%. And then I get the 10%. <laughs> okay, sick. No, I'd be, I'd be stuck to even donate the 10%. There we go. I don't know. Maybe do it. women and children's of Reno Let's or do whatever. It. You know, I yeah. love to give back if. Yes. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like that. that's, I think that's one thing. You know, we, we touched on it a little bit earlier, but how do you, how do you think um, – you know, inspiring the youth, how important is that? I know you, do you plan to have kids or you just feel like inspiring the younger generations and stuff? Like, um, I think it's super important to inspire the younger generation because they're the future. You know, you always hear that, like the yeah. youth is the future, but it's like, it's so true, bro. Straight up. And these kids are just like so ingrained in thinking like images, everything, like what you're wearing and what you're, this, the lean you're sipping, what you're like, like, dude, that is all so, it's like, that ain't, that's ain't not it. real life, you know? And, and so I, I'm trying to, like, be that inspiration, just, like, show kids, like, hey, bro, like, I'm selling legal drugs, bro, like, shoes and clothes, you know? Like, I'm, take a legal route, like, have fun, do your thing, but don't let the drugs do you do the drugs, you know? And, and I know that's if there's a really fine line between that shit these days and, Mm. You know, it's just a fucking. You, you can only try to inspire so much until they really listen and fucking get it, or it's just like, <laughs> yeah. right? You yeah, absolutely. It. So make it. I'm not their dad. I can't yeah. really preach. Yeah, yeah. But either you, you listen one or you thing, don't. Leading by example, though, is fucking. Yeah, crucial. yeah, yeah. Exactly, and that's what I try to do. Is just, right. you know, don't do no harm to others. Don't do no wrong. Right business. Everybody got choices. I choose to get money. I'm stuck to this bread. Mm -hmm. Fucking shout out to E40. Cause he fucking, <laughs> yeah. you got a slur can now and shit. Like, I don't even know how to fuck this one. Yeah. Keep it up with shit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean Jay-Z's not a fucking multi-billionaire just off of music. You feel me? Like, it's through so much other shit. Kanye is, was more rich off of Dita's than music, you know? So Are those still selling? Yeah. <laughs> they, they sold he a couple. Got a stockpile of <laughs> sold a couple of pairs today. To be honest, oh, okay, sure. no, I'm saying like, yeah, people like, love yeah. Yeezys. Yeah, people love some Yeezys. I th he's, you know, and that's another person separate the man from his art. His great art, but the man himself is a little loony. <laughs> I feel like you could be the dopest motherfucker at something, uh, professional athlete, mm -hmm. like comedian, actor, anything, mm -hmm. any endeavor that you're a professional at. Mm -hmm. You could be sick as fuck at it. But your personality could suck. Yeah. And like that sucks. Yeah. That you're like that. Thousand, thousand it just percent. ruins you as like a fucking as a human being. As a human dude. being. A thousand percent agree with that. There's, you know, like a lot of people say, oh, I met him and he's such an asshole. It's like, yeah, that three out of four are celebrities, I'm sure. And, you know, yeah. they're like not human anymore. They're unhumanized. Right. They never, got rich they're on never them. told no. <laughs> they're just, they got you know? rich. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like yeah. I could do whatever I want money. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. Gratitude. Let's talk about money for a second. <sighs> fucking can't live with it, or I could, but yeah. definitely don't want to live without it. But it's one of those fucking pain in the ass type of deals. Like, it's like air. No, I'm just kidding. We got to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess the question is um, money comes and goes, uh, but all I know is in this life, if you ain't got love, then you ain't got nothing. No, uh, it's not a shout, out. <laughs> shout out to Mike Love on that one. But no, dude, it's fucking, it's definitely a huge part of our life and everything in price keeps increasing, mm. whether it's food, gas, vehicles, houses, fucking clothes, shoes, mm -hmm. drinks at a bar, everything is increasing. And it just seems like that number that we make is lagging behind what we're fucking having to pay for. So it's crazy. How do you, how do you feel like money on the mind and like, what do you do? You fucking... Where does money sit with the importance of your life and in your business endeavors? Obviously, it's important, but um, money money's big. But I, you know, I was fortunately, but unfortunately, 
taught a lesson, you know, when my pops worked his ass off, his ass off, retired when he was, you know, 62, and then died a couple, like a year later of, of cancer. And it's like, <clears throat> so you worked your ass off to retire, never went on many trips, didn't really do much for yourself because your retirement wasn't going to be there and you can have fun because your life... You, you, you don't know when tomorrow is. You don't know. So money can't even fucking buy you tomorrow. You know, let's look at Steve Jobs, one of the richest people. He, you know, he's dead, right? And so I think experience life. Money's, work for it and 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 make it a very big, important part of your life, but not everything because you will lose out on so much more than that, you know? So I think that's... My take on it. Using money for life experiences. Yeah. Spending some dough on your motherfucking self, yeah. and, on and your family. Yeah, and you kids. don't have to fly first class, you know? You can find cheap flights to fucking Europe and travel. Like, people think it's so expensive to do things, but it's like, no. Like, do save, bro. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, that's Ball the out. other thing. Yeah. A lot of people expect. Didn't you just go on a trip? Yeah, I went on a trip. And and the way that I did it was I saved. You know, I... Mm -hmm. I I paid for some things in advance, and I paid for some things in like a, a lesser advance. <laughs> and then, Maybe credit card on some and shit. And then, just... and, you know, just I made it happen like that, and it worked very well for me. You know, I mean, I ended up sw swipe, swipe, swiping a little, yeah, too much. You know, <laughs> but, but but at the same time, I was able to, like I said earlier, like did I the love trip. being able to do it. You know, yeah, I, the fact that I was able to go out there and enjoy myself, like I'm very grateful for that. Where'd you go? Went to Iceland. Iceland, hey. Icelandic. Yep. So super Iceland is green and Greenland is icy, right? More yeah, so than Greenland used to be mm. super green. They all both used to be super green, but I mean, I'm not gonna, <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna we, almost, <laughs> we almost just went in a fucking portal. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes those happen. Yeah, I just went to Iceland too. Yeah. yeah oh no, Jen? shit. Yeah, Would, for Jen's thirtieth. Oh, that's oh, dope. February. Shout out Jen. Where'd yeah, you yeah. Did shout you guys out, go to baby. Reykjavik? Yeah, that was our last stop. We just fucking our first stop was uh, Blue Lagoon, baby. Hey, yeah, that shit was sick. sick. And then we went southern, southern, saw Safragas or whatever waterfall, and then we stayed at Reykjavik. Yeah, okay. super dope. Hi, dude. Weed out there, expensive. Maybe I got ripped off, but <laughs> oh, I brought my pens. <laughs> oh, dude, the tri no way you went international with a pen ski. Go international with pens all the time. <laughs> he said it's just in the pen holder. It depends where you're going. It depends where you're going. Yeah, yeah, don't bring nothing. Yeah, back. don't go to Russia with one. Cause, yeah. Uh, like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, I don't shoosh. think I'm going there. Period. Right now, but yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I'm going there. How many countries have you been to? Uh, it's fuck. Holland, Belgium, Germany, France, Italy, Mexico, Iceland. Jeez. Jeez. Where, where, which one was your favorite? Luxembourg. Which is still going? I, didn't, I thought Luxembourg I didn't know you were still between going. Between Belgium and Germany, I want to say that little space. You been over to Amsterdam? Yeah, yeah. That, so I'm I'm Dutch. So I have I have family in Holland. We went there in 2016 for a family reunion. The Dutch man. Yeah, yeah. And so my Sick. my dad's side of my, his family was there. It was fucking amazing, man. Yeah. Just get to meet all them. But <clears throat> to be honest, my favorite was Rome. Rome. Okay. Sick. I love pe the pizza. Was <laughs> the best thing I've ever had in my life. Um, the architecture is amazing. You're sitting across the street from the Colosseum, drinking a bottle of wine and eating a steak dinner. And watching us, it's just you it's people magical. killed themselves there, yeah. Still, you know, you, like, like you're saying about Shay's, like a hundred years old, thousand years yeah, old, yeah. No, you know, what, you, you know what I'm saying, but like, still, we're stoked seeing that, and so yeah. that was like, fuck, dude, just because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little weirdo with his, history like that, yeah. I like the Roman history and stuff. That's sick. Yeah, yeah just traveling state to state, state is dope. Somewhere. Yes, you know what I'm saying. Like yes. if you're somebody that's in your town right now or where you're from, and you've never expanded or gone out, things are different. Maybe just here. a state next door. Yeah, like yeah. that don't count. I encourage you and I challenge you. I think we all do to get up, get out, get active, and save a little bit of dough and get your ass out there and travel mm -hmm. stateside. Maybe you know, spread mm -hmm. yourself out, go somewhere afar in the states, yep. and then. Uh, get your passport. It's not fucking hard to do. If I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> and then uh, get your passport. And Just even go to Mexico. 
you know? Yeah, you, yeah Canada. Careful, yeah. Travel, travel respectfully, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, put, represent yourself. Put on for America. And you know? America, yeah. oh, well, uh, try to be one of those people that does that because... Unfortunately, there's a fucking... A lot of people hate us. <laughs> I know, got dude, some haters, haters going hate. I get along generally with... Uh, I've been to Spain, Greece, Dubai, Bahrain. I've been up north to the north with the Canadian homies. Um, I've been to Mexico, obviously, but generally I feel like I've been liked everywhere I went. But yeah, definitely we have a bad rap more so than we don't. However, they like yeah. the money, though. Yeah, yeah. They, you know, it's... They when, love us. When uh, they meet the you, they're hella cool. Just, yeah, it's, they're like hell yeah. It's like damn, I didn't expect. We're that. not all the same. <laughs> exactly. We're not all the same. Exactly. Uh, but also not so different. You know. I don't know. L. A. People, and New York people, are pretty fucking different. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I think it. I think it fucking is very different. <laughs> yeah, in that sense. <laughs> what do you mean you don't think it's very different? <laughs> you we're all uh, beings. We're all humans <laughs> and shit. But <laughs> no, it's like we all. I mean, we all act the same way. We, you know. Like just maybe two different lengths, but we all we all go through the same emotions from the neck, you know. Whether we're, whether we're getting angry, mad, passionate, or whatever, mm-hmm. we all start. I mean, I guess we're all human. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we I hope we're all human. Yeah. Fuck. No, I mean, I hope, you know, hey, let y'all in on a secret right now. Either. I'm a post <laughs> <laughs> uh, That brings me to another fucking great point, dude. We've been getting a lot of this. You've been seeing it. Um, I want my boys' opinions on it. Is this a distraction? Is it fucking real? Is the mothership above us? And it's just like, it looks like clouds. Oh. Uh, UFOs and aliens and shit. Like, what's going on with it? What's good? Jay, I'm fucking, what do you think? Give me a wink if you think aliens are real. Okay. <laughs> Jay's wink. fucking alien. I feel like it's men in black in this motherfucker. Uh, He's about to have his face go. I for sure little aliens believe in <laughs> aliens, dude. 100%. Dude. I we, always have. I yeah. didn't even take the government to say something like that. Right. And yeah. so that's the thing. It's like people... People didn't really. I mean, once the government starts saying UFOs are real, they're like, "All right, cool." They can't hide it anymore with all these cameras. <laughs> yeah, I like how we just came out with it all fucking nonchalant. Hey, by the I way, I was like, "I told hey. you, I told." You. We've been telling y'all it was fake. It's real, and uh, yeah, they're right about us right now. We're talking Dude. to one of them right now. That balloon that got shot down—that was actually an alien that pew, pew, shot them off. Oh, right Roswell. <laughs> like what the fuck? Uh, just nonchalantly dropping it off on us that they're real. But if you think about it, I heard something the other day that they're finding out now through new science, uh, which is super dope. I'm not the most intellectual motherfucker, but I'm kind of smart. But the universe and the galaxies, everything is constantly getting farther away from us, and it's constantly mm-hmm. just going to infinite. And like, I don't even think our little alien brains here on Earth. Uh, as a collective, as human beings, can even wrap our motherfucking heads around that. Mm-mm. Definitely not. Not until you go to space and see it yourself. Wow. I think that's next. That's my yeah. next goal. If you could take a trip in a month to space, would you go? No. That shit's scary as fuck. For how long? Fuck, dude. I don't know. You're doing one Who lap around the earth. with? No, I'm good. I don't know. Certified astronauts, man. We're not going to send you up there with fucking... Jay Light flying the fucking ship, but <laughs> maybe I don't know. But, I, mean, I don't want to see that the world's actually flat. I don't. I I just oh, no. I'm like my mind's like. <laughs> oh no, dude. Oh no. My mind's like I don't. You know, I, can I have sex up there? Or what? <laughs> it's like can I get a little bed or something like that? I think the legalization of weed is just uh, like. Is it flat though? Is it flat? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it's the thing is that we do know as as human beings is that everything that we thought we knew isn't such, you know, or so. And so it's like, who's to say what is, you know? So I'd say keep an open mind to it. But, but I mean, to say something is or isn't this or that without really knowing, and like, I mean, it stops, I think it stops the argument. Know. If it's flat. Dude, yeah, dude. There's an Some astronaut. Of the people higher up that's shit. Said, They'd be fucking dapping him up and shit. What's up, dude? dude. What's up, fucking? You from Planet Neptar, right? Yeah, I met you. Like, I remember last year. And so, <laughs> yeah. that'd be sick. That's why they're canceling TikTok. People, people are starting to find out too much. Like you said, too yo, many cameras. Yo, that's, that's why they're canceling. You know? It's making us dumber as what that's doing. Oh yeah. man, <laughs> just talking to each other. <laughs> it's not good. Social media, good or bad. <laughs> I think it can be extent. good if used in certain ways. Right. I use definitely it, right? use it more of a promotional item. Like, That's like Tylenol, also as an right? inspirational item, though. Not to, sh- not to show or brag, but to be like, yo, 
go do some dope shit. Like, if you're a dad or something, be a dope dad. Do some dope shit with your kids. But I think nowadays we're just fucking, dude, we're all on there fucking locked in, dude. Yeah, yeah 100%. Dude, you know, after COVID, I was like, man, I, I, I have to weed out my who, what type of people I follow, you know, what type of things I follow because things get so negative and, and things just... Outside. <laughs> Dude, I feel like my sign just fucking dropped down like your mind made it happen, <laughs> like on some Matilda shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking he Matilda. But, uh, but yeah, you know, it's like, you, you seen, you know, you made me lose. My, <laughs> That's that shot. Joe Indica, <laughs> baby. <laughs> fucking on one, for sure, yeah, on a sick yeah. one. It never fucking stops. Um, I don't know, man. A, you know, aliens, social media, this country, that country, wow. business owner, employee, doesn't matter. Interesting I, time. I think that, I think... Somebody recently was like, Joe, you're a good being. And I thought that that was pretty cool. That sounds this cool. was an in-person comment from a homie that's not from this uh, state or Reno. Might be not from this world. <laughs> but I was in Daytona, and he's one of the homies. Respected his uh, compliment. Took it, took it well. Like, I thought that was sick. But he's like, you're a good being. You and I think don't that hear that every day. That's no, no, you don't. I think that that can be one of the most impactful things in life, though, is just to be a good fucking human. A simple compliment can go a long way. He's such a good being that people call him and be like, "Why aren't you calling me?" <laughs> and I'm like, "It's like, dude, that's that's what do you, you get do hit for with people. that from homies. Like, you that's ain't talked to you... a homie in a little while. Like, I get it. Phone calls are supposed to work both ways, but do homies ever hit you up? You're like, hello. They're like, hey, bro, fucking ain't heard from you for a while. Had to call you because you don't call me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, <laughs> no, damn, dude. No, call you, man. I usually just don't hear anything until you see him next time. My birthday or something. Have, oh, hey, what's up, bro? Yeah. So you don't be getting called out like that? <laughs> no. He's trying to talk. Thank God. He's they care for you. The they care for you. Care. No, no doubt. That's for sure. No doubt about it. I, care, I also care about thee. I think, dude, I'll go on these rants. And I think this is important. Maybe challenge somebody to do this, but I'll fucking pick up my phone and I'll call 10 people back to back to back to back fucking on a car drive or something and just check in on a bunch of people. I'll even pick That's like smart. five randoms and That's fucking good. hit them. Yeah. And people are like, what the fuck? Yeah. They're Haven't stoked. Heard from you. Like, I feel like my juju just goes, and I'm not even doing it for that reason, but I think it does. That's what happens though. Wild I think attraction. what that does is pushes somebody else to pick up a phone and to communicate whether it be with a mom, a dad, a brother, sister, family member, a friend, fucking whatever, dude. I think a phone call or communication goes a long motherfucking way. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do I you agree. think that communication is one of the most important things to have in business and in life? Oh, it's the most. It's the most. You got to let people know the focus on your mind and, you know, just got to let them know. That's, just, that's everything. Put it on the table. Mm -hmm. Put it on the table. I think when that distance gets created, sometimes people can go through life and you could be really down. You could make that random phone call and somebody pick it up that you ain't talked to in a minute and they're literally two days away from just yeah, yeah. being like, I don't want to do this no more. Yeah, 100%. Or they could be in their life and you never know when it's your time to go or to check out. So they could be two days away from maybe that's the last time you ever get to talk to them again. Mm -hmm. I don't think know. think about that all the time. Yeah. There's a couple of homies that I wish I'd talked to before, you know? Fuck. Absolutely. Right? Agreed. <clears throat> so, got to keep reaching out, like you said. I think that mental health is something that's extremely important. I know that I've dealt with it with, with myself and with a lot of friends and shit. Like, there's no doubt about it. Life's hard, not just in business, but in your relationship, yeah. in your in motherfucking, your in your, in everything. That Every you do. aspect of it. It's just tough. Yeah. But it's going to be great. Fuck, Alakeem. He always tells me that. I'll call his phone and be like, dude, I'm in a rug. I'm trying to throttle her out. Yeah, yeah. My fucking bike died. He's like, dude, it's going to be great. Be on my way to a show or about to go on stage. He's like, dude, it's going to be great. It's, it's a great way to, great thing to follow, you know? I believe him every fucking time, too. I'm like, he's yeah, right. Yeah. It's going to be great. You know what? You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. Came out like that. Yeah, I think it's definitely super important to check in on yourself and check in on your homies. Like, fucking, do you feel like, you're a type of person that can lean on people can lean on, you know what I'm saying? And come to you and fucking check in with you and be like, Hey dude, like I'm fucking. How yeah. You... I think, I think I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of that quote unquote daddish figure for some kids, you know, who, who are lost, you know, I, I, Father I've figure. had a couple of the, the, the homies or, or employees cry to me about shit. And I think that's important, you know, to let your fucking emotions out. Because mm -hmm. you cannot and, keep that bottled in forever. And they, to trust you with that vulnerability. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm not there to judge you 
in any sort of way think of you as a lesser person. Just if anything, I have more respect for you. You know, like you have the. I said, I guess balls to open up to me and not like your mom or dad or significant other, <clears throat> which you can. Being somebody that can be confided in is fucking a dope characteristic, yeah. dope trait. And, I, and that's that's why I opened the shop too, man. There's there's a lot of times people come in like, man, just having a bad day today. I just want to come, you know, and we take their mind off of whatever the fuck is going on in their life that we have no idea about and talk sports shoes clothes girls whatever and completely turns their mind off for that time they're in the shop mm. you know that's dope global that's goods is like a safe house safe haven for we that 100 dope i yeah. fucks with that yes i yes. fucks with that Absolutely. i fucks Respect. with that Respect. yeah Absolutely. I saw a sign recently. It's actually in the chamois. It's in a coach's section that's upstairs, and it says, a good coach wins games. A great coach changes lives. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Right? You feel me? Like, for yes. sure. Um, I think I there's a few people in my life that I definitely look to from that coach coach standpoint. Definitely, I'm like, you know, that shit can, can hype you up, can change your day-to-day -day and really boost you up and help you get to the, to the next day or to the next step in your life. Um, but be a coach. Learn to grow to be a coach. Coach somebody. Pick up the motherfucking phone. And also, go to Global Goods Shop. <laughs> Global Goods Shop. Go online. Go to Glib Shop Coaches online yep. and buy some motherfucking merch and support my boy. Um, I think that that goes a long way, and I think that that was a great thing on this podcast that we elaborated a lot on was fucking being a dope, solid human being, mm -hmm. fucking looking out for others, and sending it and doing your thing and being on a sick one in a positive way. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Huge shout out to Lifestyle Studio for having me in here. If you're looking to do a podcast, you need any media done, get at me. I'll plug you in with my boy, Jay, Lifestyle Studio. Also, huge shout out to Culture and Cannabis. Couldn't do this without you. Love you guys. They're out of based out of Las Vegas. Um, hit them up. Follow them on Instagram. Show them some motherfucking love. The sign just fell, but that's okay because okay. the sign's going to get picked up and it's going to go back up. And that's what we do. It's going to be great. Um, shout out to my co-host, Alex Heem. Um, you can go see him at the Axe Bar up the Chamois. You can hear his music on Spotify. We got a, a song on SoundCloud that's pretty fire. And um, <laughs> it's not like that one full. <laughs> and we're not even going to get on that shit right now. I thought it was a joke. Um, but more importantly, huge shout out to you, Jared. Thank you so much, my boy, for being here. Like I appreciate, appreciate you. you more than you know. Another local. Another dude that's on a sick one being great. Yes. So go out there and be great. Jared, any closing words? Any? Give me, a, give me one piece life advice. Could be a fucking word or one sentence. <clears throat> we can talk for another 20 minutes. <laughs> Shit. Don't take life too serious, man. Have fun. Dope. You know what I'm saying? It's like a box of chocolates. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest Gump style. And, and go get. see this guy at Polo Lounge. Thank Polo you. Lounge? Polo Lounge. Polo Lounge. Yep. Last Polo Thursday of the month, every month. And there then I'm go. traveling this year. You're going to do some dope shit. Podcast. Follow it. YouTube. Spotify. Check me out. Shout me out. How you doing? Drop a comment. If you liked it, if you hated it, that sucks for you. Uh, 14th episode on a sick one podcast. See? Peace and love. It's going to be great. <laughs>